So hello the Unreal Squad and welcome back to Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. So last time in our series, uh, we added the sword to our character and gave the sword, uh, character a way to equip and unequip that sword. So in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is fixing some issues with this, uh, uh, what do you mean, this equipping part. So here as you see, well, if I equip while running, I will slide on this floor. So I don't need this uh, effect. So instead of that, I want my character's feet to keep moving, and uh, my character's uh, upper part should uh, play the animation. So here there will be a blend here. So the upper, uh, the bottom part of my character's playing the running animation. The top part of my character's playing the equip animation so like that so actually this is not a bug fix this is an essential factor for a, a game so we can use this in the future as well so let's get started so before starting uh, there's something I need to show you so here in the last video I didn't show you guys these parts so here I actually uh, edited these values so here this should be 1.4 here the play rate should be 1.4 here also 1.4 and here set the delay duration to 0.54 and here delay duration to 0.5 and here I uh, use the same uh, variable to all of these nodes so it will be better uh, if you like you can use two variables but this is I think this is a clean way to do this so here plug this one to this so like that and I edited the position of my sword so now it's perfectly fine so uh, you can tell adjust those uh, positions and I, as I told you in the uh, previous video so now my uh, that uh, the sword uh, uh, my sword uh, don't uh, go through my character while walking uh, but if I edit the portion again, it will go through the uh, character. But I'll fix that using physics in the future. But for now, let's get started with the uh, <coughs> animation part. So here today I won't going to be doing anything in the space character movement. I'll close that and I'll open up my equip montage. So here in characters, animation, come back. Montage and open this one. So, as you see here, we have this default slot. So, instead of using this default slot, I'll use another slot for the upper part. So, here, so that means the bottom part of our animation will not be played, but the upper part will be played. So, for that, I, I need another sl um, slot for that. So, for that. To edit the slot so I need this uh, anim slot manager so I'll enable that and I'll create a new slot I'll call it upper ends and here you can use this slot to any of your montages from now on so as this is a public one so here I set the slot to upper ends so as you see our animation will play in the moment so I'll refresh it by clicking on this preview slot one. So as you see, but in the previous versions of Android Engine 4, uh, it's different than this. So uh, you can find the, uh, these buttons easily. In, there are no drop downs. These parts will be here, but with the new updates, uh, it have changed. So I think this layout is better than uh, the previous ones. So I save this, and now. To take this upper slot to uh, action, uh, I need to edit some settings inside my animation blueprint so because that's the blueprint that handles all of the animation functions. So here I'll call that uh, diff, uh, upper anim slot. So I'll uh, duplicate this and use this upper anims one. So as I told you, that that uh, slot is public, so uh, I can use it anywhere, uh, anywhere in that is uh, connected to this character but actually I can't directly use this one so I'll make a what should I use so if I directly connect it to this see 
Okay, I am straight. But I don't think it will work because I have to include the mechanisms as well. So I will. Here, this is the problem, so I need a source for this. So instead of doing it like this, I will make a save cage pose and I will name this save cage pose as the default, as it's the name of our default slot. And here, I have cage pose. So I the sketch pose here and as you see now we don't have an output here so I will duplicate this one and I will use the same cage pose here as well so here in this layer blend per bone so this will handle all of the bone uh, uh, functions so here uh, I will use so then when first one should be our uh, default slot and the upper and bottom part should be this one so here i need a bone name so i will open my skeleton <coughs> sorry for that okay here i need a bone around that I can't use hips because it is connected to all of these bones. Spine one, one, spine one. Okay, I just use this spine. I use this bone as spine. So something like that. Can I click compile? So we have sit down here. Yeah. So we have this. So that's one important thing. Uh, while we are ma making up this game, if our engine crashes, if it got closed, uh, the if we haven't even if we haven't even run the auto save, uh, we won't be able to recover our uh, files again. So uh, instead, uh, so because of that. Make sure to use the save all option after every main change that you do to your project so your, <coughs> the, your data will be saved. So I will try playing now. So let's check whether our equipment machine is working. Yeah, it's working. So as you see now our bottom part's not playing the animation, it's playing our normal brain space animations. So yeah. So I will walk and as you see now it's working. So I am really happy with this uh, observation. So as you see it's so simple uh, and this video came uh, uh, became a short one because of this small uh, mechanism. So as you see there is a problem with this printing animation because uh, here as you see uh, it doesn't match up with this equip one or something just like that but it's fine uh, it's working perfectly fine <coughs> yeah so i guess uh, this is all for this video and the next video i will start working on uh, light attacks and heavy attacks so and i'll add a heads up display so we can see our health and we can see our abilities a uh, minimap and so i like blocking so when we press space uh, if there's an enemy around us if we press space we will block if there are no enemy if we press space we will jump so i guess this is uh, it for this video and see you in the next video until then goodbye